Mm, it feels great. It feels great to watch the players execute a game plan that the coaches work very hard at. Um, and again, all the all the credit goes to the to the coaches and, and most especially the players. They're the ones that went out there and executed and locked in all week, and then came here in a, in a hostile, um, difficult environment and was able to get off to the fast start that we talked about. You guys, can you talk about your red zone defense? It seemed to win the battle most of the night. They, they proved the ball a lot. Yep. Stopped. And that's what they've done all year, and they were able to. You know, they're they're not number two uh, in the league for by accident. Um, we thought that that was a huge key to the game was our ability to to force them to kick field goals. Um, figured Tucker would make them all, which was fine. Um, and then our ability to score when we got down there, to score touchdowns really was the difference in this football game. Early in the game, you had that fourth down stop. How monumental was that? It's huge, huge. You know, changed the line of scrimmage and, um, you know, provided great momentum in complimentary football. And you get three turnovers and four fourth down stops. Um, you know, against a, you know, an amazing offense with, with really, really good players. What do you think about John News catch and how much does that kind of help be a springboard? You know, unfortunately, we got knocked back out of there a little bit. Um, and, and then, you know, Arthur made a great call. Uh, Ryan made a great throw, and, and John New continued to develop, uh, went back, got the football, secured it, and you know, it was a heck, a huge play. What can you say about the game with Arthur? Well, I mean, the plays, as long as they're decisive, I think Dean and Arthur and Auk do a great job, you know, coordinating uh, their phases. Um, it's important to me that, that everybody has input uh, throughout the week, and they're, you know, they're in charge of, of calling it. Um, but he's continued to develop, and he's continued to, um, you know, we're on the same page with a lot of things. When you change the dynamic against a team like that, they have lost since September, they're used to playing from ahead. How much is changing the dynamic kind of? Sure. I mean, they, they, were, they were catching people in shock and all in, in the first quarter. And, um, again, I thought we did a great job. I thought that the, that the players understood the scheme, um, some of the keys of trying to stop him. And you saw where he gained yards. They were getting him into the – between the hashes and the numbers. And when we defended, you know, from number to number and made him go laterally, um, they, they weren't big plays. And then we were able to get some stops. And you know, it could have been a lot better if we were able to, you know, Get them off the field on some of those third and long situations, but we didn't, and, and we played great red zone defense. How much has Derek worked on that, that jump pass? Really put that much work on it? Just trying to find the right time to call it and use it, and you know, it was uh, very well executed. I thought Corey did a fantastic job of going up and getting the football, attacking the football. Um, you know, something that we practice. I mean, you gotta you gotta have some plays for when you get down there. How much did it help you to? When you got the big lead, you were able to make them a little more one-dimensional, take away some of the RPOs and run games. I mean, he's just as dangerous, you know, when he drops back to throw it as when they, you know, designed to, to read somebody. So, you know, he made some yards and, you know, again, we, we probably knew that we weren't going to just completely eliminate, you know, a dynamic player. But uh, certainly helped. I thought we played the situations, um, you know, very good when we got down in the red zone. Our guys, uh, you know, in the two-minute drill, you know, they did a fantastic job of keeping their poise and, and coming up with some big stops. And, you know, Dane, you know, obviously Dane Crookshank's a guy that's a core special teams pl player for us, excellent special teams player. And it was, it was great to see him have a role and be able to, to make a stop down there and, and, you know, get a PBU there on fourth down. It obviously so takes all 11, but what is it about Derrick Henry that really, once he gets turning, it seems like you guys are a tough offense. Well, his skill set is... Um, you know, we know that it's not going to always be five and six and seven yards. You know, it's going to be grind, 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 and we're going to bust one. I think that they have that kind of confidence uh, to be able to, you know, pick and prod where we're going. I think Keith and Keith Carter and Arthur do a great job of kind of figuring out what we want to do based on the looks that we're getting um, and to be able to hit some of those runs. And guys are finishing blocks, and when Derek gets to the backside and is able to get to the second level, um, you know, most of the time he's able to, to, to gain a, a lot of yards. What did you see from uh, David Long? Well, he was excited. You know, David, David is a young player that it was excited to play and look, look forward to the opportunity. I thought he was active. Uh, certainly have to look at the tape to, to figure out what else he did or what he needs to improve on or you know, what mistakes. You know, there's always going to be mistakes in the game, but I don't think it was too big for him. I think he was excited about playing in this game. Um, 
and he was prepared. How much is your playoff the underdogs? I try to spend the majority of my time preparing the team the best that I can, um, you know, and, and really, I think for those of us that have been around this league long enough, I think that's kind of overrated, the underdog thing, and, you know, it's, it's pro football. You know, everybody gets paid. Everybody has a job to do. Um, you know, we knew we were going to get on a plane a few weeks ago, and as long as we kept winning, uh, we were going to keep getting on that plane, and we're going to do the same thing this week. We're going to continue to improve, um, not let complacency sit in, and not be excited about, you know, winning whatever this was. I don't even know. We're going to play in the AFC Championship game, um, but we have to continue to improve. And you heard me say it: the teams that do that, um, they keep playing, and the ones that don't, um, they make off-season plans. What's it say about your your ability to win any way necessary? When you one, two playoff games with your quarterback, not even at 100 yards? Um, you know, we, we just try to do whatever we can do each and every week um, to, to win the game. And sometimes, the, you know, we hit some big plays, you know, helped. You know, hitting the one to Khalif I thought was, was huge. Um, you know, to be able to turn around right there and, and hit a sudden change and hit, hit a shot, it's good to have Khalif back. Um, he means a lot to this football team. Uh, so I know it, it killed him not to be able to be in there the last couple of weeks. Uh, but, you know, every week we're going to try to do whatever we need to do to win a football game. Mike, in preparing for the game, if you had thought that Lamar Jackson himself had had over 500 yards to the offense and you held him to the lowest scoring total of the season, would you have thought that would be possible? Well, we, you'd had to do it with some turnovers and fourth down stops. Like, that's it's the only way you can do it, make, making Tucker kick field goals. And, um, you know, he's a fantastic player, and he's, he's, he's going to be amazing for this league. And, um, you know, but but our guys, I just give a lot of credit to our players. They were they were ready to go. Coaches did a great job. Um, they were ready to play, and uh, and they executed. How much growth have you seen from Tom since you guys since he got to you guys? Well, a lot, I man. We coach we coach everybody the same. We we try to get them to improve and, and 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 get them to keep going. And he plays hard, and you know this meant a lot to him and a lot a lot to Dean. You know, for guys that spent time here, this is a great organization. You know, John's a, John's a great football coach. A great, great owner, and uh, you know, we knew it was going to be a difficult challenge to come in here um, and win the game. And our guys were, were ready, and I'm proud of how they played. I'm proud to be their coach. We we'll see you with your son here, Coach Downing has his son here. Why is family such an important thing to, to this uh, organization with you? Well, I think it starts. You know, it just doesn't start with me. It starts with Miss Amy. I think that um, that's something that's important to her. You know that um, you know she grew up in, uh, around this this league. You know, with, with Mr. Adams, and um, it's important for her to maintain that uh, that family atmosphere. And uh, you know, obviously, to be able to have Carter here, um, you know, when you win and you turn around and you see your son, it's pretty cool. Mike, you have time in the league. Uh, have you seen a running back? How, how rare is it what we're seeing from Henry in these last couple of games, taking his game to that higher level? They handed me a sheet that said the only player in NFL history. So whatever comes after that, I mean, it's pretty much. Self-explanatory. When it's only player in NFL history, blah 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 blah. I mean, it's it, it's fun uh, to get to coach him. Uh, you know, he's got a great energy. He's durable. He's physical, and uh, you know, I'm glad he's with us.